you guys as I'm learning throughout this whole chart process and everything I'm super excited because I just want to say that my fall collection had sold out and I am recently restocking my lip glosses and also there's something else I'm going to discuss later on in today's video launch date was 10 16 and that's my birthday I am a Libra yes I turned 29 on that day, so 1016. I said, let me just try something different. I created a launch. Now, launch day went smooth, even though I wasn't locally. For people who want to purchase something, they still was purchasing for me and waited till I got back from the beach to actually get their product. Now, with launch day, it was very stressful at the same time. I was excited, stressed out, heading to the beach. Everything went well. I was just like, oh my gosh, what to do next? So with launch day, I made sure I, you know, had everything in plan, everything prepped for anything could happen, right? So with Raquel Cosmetics, I make sure I post on social media nonstop, and I'm currently still doing that to this day, posting on social media nonstop. I really, really, really enjoy posting on social media and talking about my brand because my name is behind something and that's just what I need to do to get my brand out there a little bit more. So you guys, I'm just super excited. Just I'm, I don't even know how many times I've said super excited, but it's just amazing to me that I really procrastinated this long to get to this point. I remember back in 2012 when I started this channel you guys i was like i really want to do something with my name i really want to do something with myself and this is that day this is that moment this is that time that it finally took in place you guys and i'm just so happy so i want to say thank everyone who i've purchased from my brand that is really you know connecting with me and giving me good feedback of my brand and i just really love the reviews that i am getting from you guys as subscribers and i also just want to say to my local viewers thank you guys so much for actually believing me and all subscribers believing in me and helping me get up there and just being by my side throughout this whole roller coaster ride it's been really really crazy but i am here i'm getting things ready for the next launch. The next launch, you guys, <laughs> it's going to be exciting. So before we get further in that, I don't want this video to be all over the place. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment, rate, and subscribe. What is something that Raquel Cosmetics needs to launch next? So you guys, so launch day. Excited, ready, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, excited, pumped up. It's launch day. It's launch day. Turned up. Had my wine with the girls. We was out on the beach. What happened? My payments was not accepting. Oh my gosh. I was just like, oh no. Payments. Woo. It wasn't going through. It wasn't going through. Payments was not going through at the time. And I was very, 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 you know, oh, heated that payments was not going through. I was telling people use Cash App, use Cash App. So I'm still learning as of, to, as of today that I'm still learning because with me still learning and also not only that, I know people who really started out is probably have probably been in the same boat that I've been in. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna start out with my cash out just in case. And it went through, but I still wanted to make sure that my site that's on Wix.com is still going through as well. <laughs> so I had to really go through that dilemma just to get everything right, you guys. So with that dilemma, it it was a couple of days, about a week, ranking a little bit, about a week. It was really good um, as far as getting everything smooth. About the week after, that's when the, all the process of payments was starting to get through. I said, yes. Sales. How many sales did I actually get all together, if you guys are curious? 21 sales. For a very first timer, I got 21 sales on launch day overall. I was like, whoa, this is what it's like to be a brand owner. Wow. So I was very, very humbled because, of course, you're going to come across some haters. And I had a couple of haters in my DMs, actually. I DM'd a hater. And I noticed the hater was like, every time I actually, you know, posted a poll or a little voting, would you buy my palette? They they sit there and say no. I'm like, so why are you here to support me? I'm only, like I told them, I only support people through, I only follow people when I'm supporting them non-stop uh, that's the only reason why i follow a person so why not make yourself easier to make yourself exit and then leave and then you don't have to see what's going on like for real so i kind of went back and forth with that person a little bit because 
that person is on YouTube and that person has not uploaded a video in about three years but y'all to shade my channel for not getting the views as long as they been on YouTube like how did that even add up how are you gonna shape my channel and then you barely post the videos as it is I know my scheduling can be not very consistent but I am posting but how can you shade my channel and you don't even do YouTube yourself <laughs> hilarious but yeah lunch date went really really good so I really blocked that hater I actually stopped following that hater and then she was still following me but did not realize it but the hater started really hating on me <laughs> Let's just say, like, we was cool at the very beginning of YouTube. Like, we was really cool. And the hater actually uh, was like, um, I said something about baking back in, like, when baking first started. And I didn't like it. And they felt a certain type of way. And they came to address me in my inbox about it. All because I had a, my own opinion about baking. And they wanted to address it. Then, after that, uh, times went by. That was back in 2017. So, as of 2020, back in October, I noticed the nose. The nose. Like, he, I'm not supporting you. So, I just killed that vibe. So, I did have a hater around the time that I was getting ready to watch. Crazy, right? Crazy. I'm not going to get to details on who the person is, but I want to keep their privacy But to them. And I want to expose them. Expose them. But I just had to expose the enemy here on here but anyways yeah so I had a little bit of drama during lunch date too as well so which is kind of odd and crazy but hey that's life you people are going to expect you to fail that's life I've learned that I'm growing I'm an adult but you guys lunch date did pretty good my most selling was purple fantasies and it was purple fantasies hot mama and gold rush lucky it did okay it did okay but really gold rush purple fantasies and hot mama and icy was like my main colors that was going off the roof. I had to keep making, making, making products. Keep buying versus gel, versus gel, making products. Buying this and that. I was like, ooh, so this is what it's like. Palettes, I sold at least six palettes so far, which I'm okay with. I hope my palette sales get a little bit more up in the roof. But yeah, that, that went well. I just want to say thank you everybody who supported me on launch day. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys thought about it. And I got to go and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.